Hi everyone, I've got uh, the Motorola Zoom with Honeycomb 3.1 here and uh, what I'm going to test for you right now is USB host capability. Now the Motorola Zoom has a micro USB connector on the bottom. I've actually got it flipped in here so now I have it on the top for easy access for this video. And you need to get a cable for it. Um, one that's micro USB on one end and then full size USB on the other. That way you can hook up any of your USB cables into this device. I purchased this one through eBay. Um, the suggestions that I have found from Google searches as to which cable to get. Somebody mentioned to get a micro USB host no uh, Nokia, that this cable is compatible with the Zoom. Uh, Motorola doesn't currently sell any cable off their website, so I went ahead and purchased one of these. That's what this is. And uh, it connects just fine. So let's take a look and see what works and what doesn't. So let's connect the cable first. Alright, snug in there. First thing I'm going to test is a camera. So I've got the camera cable right here. I'm going to connect it into the camera port. And a full size USB, which you would normally put into a computer, I'm going to connect into this cable right here. Now, nothing is happening at first, but as soon as I turn on the camera, you'll see it's already going straight to my picture folders. And in the upper left hand corner you'll see a folder that's labeled uh, Nikon D70, that's the model of this camera. And it's automatically showing you a folder of those pictures. You can go in there, I believe, and you can browse through them. Or maybe not. But what you can do, let's see here at the top, is select which pictures you want. So I have none selected. Oh, there we go. No, that's up. So you can browse through them. All right. Well, let's see if I can get back in there. I think if I click and hold, there we go. If, if you click and hold, it brings you to a different menu, which is selecting which pictures you want, and then importing them into a folder on your local Zoom. So you are able to connect a camera, import those pictures onto your Zoom, and then probably erase your card and take more pictures if you run out of space. As soon as I turn off the camera, that menu disappears and so does the folder from my camera. Let's move on to the next device. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the camera. Next device I'm going to test are two flashcards. I have a newer one which is on, I believe, on the new HTC kind of chipping and then I have an old 256 flash disk um, which is more compatible with older devices just to see if there's any compatibility issues with older or newer. So let's go ahead and hook up one of them. I'm going to hook up the 256 first. Now I see it flashing on the flash disk card. But I don't see anything automatically pop popping up on the screen. Go ahead and go into a folder browser just to see if there's anything peculiar in there. Now, on here, I have the... Where is it? Built-in SD card folder. I think I'm already in it. There we go. So there's the built-in SD card folder, but there's no new extra SD card. Let's go ahead and try the other flash disk. Give it a moment. Okay, once again, as you see, there's nothing changing in the folders, nothing automatically popping up. So apparently, flash drives are currently not doing anything when they're hooked up into the micro USB port. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate in this video, but I did also try out putting a uh, micro SD card in the SD card slot that's at the top of the device. And that also produced no change. It didn't come to my pictures folder. It didn't show up anything on the browser here. So let me go ahead, uh, actually I'll leave it in there for a moment. Let's try some more devices. All right, I have a memory card reader and I'm going to uh, put a memory card in there, the one from the camera. Since the camera worked, I'm just gonna take that memory card, slide it in here, and I'm going to hook this up. So that's the memory card from the camera. There's a memory card reader. I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up and connect that to the zoom and see if that works. So 
So the memory card reader, oops, is lighting up. Is it out of that? I think I is lighting up. What's happening here? I don't think. Go back. But nothing is moving around. I don't see any new folders. And let me go back. Actually, let me just switch toggle between the gallery. Take a look. Yeah, I don't see a new folder up here in the right-hand corner. So it doesn't look like it's recognizing this as well. Go back to the file explorer. Mind you, some of this I am testing right now for the first time, just for you guys, and also just um, so that everybody knows what's working, what's not, and maybe what might be, what maybe we should request for future releases of updates. So let's connect that. I have a external laptop hard drive, Seagate. I believe it's 500 gigs. Go ahead and connect that. See if anything happens. All right, I feel the uh, hard drive spinning. There, it's lit up. So it is powering the hard drive from the Motorola Zoom. And it's spinning. But once again, there's nothing showing up. So it looks like most external mediums are not being recognized at this moment. Uh, I'm just going to test two more devices. All right, just give me another second. Yeah, nothing's popping up on the screen. It's lit up and spinning, but nothing's happening. So let's go ahead and disconnect that. I have a Sony e-reader here, you know, just to try something different. Um, it has its own built-in power supply, of course, so you can read it on the road. So I thought I'd give it a try, see if that makes a difference, if it has its own battery. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Oop. Looks like the battery's kind of low. Let's see if it uh, recognizes it anyways. So I've got it connected. On the device, it's showing connected to USB. And on the zoom, no motion. As you saw with the camera, it immediately recognized it, immediately went to the pictures. But so far, everything else is not responding whatsoever. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next device. It is just a, out of benefit, it is charging my e-reader. So worst case scenario, you can at least use the zoom as an extra charger, not that you necessarily want to, but it is charging the e-reader, even though it doesn't recognize it currently. All right, last device I wanted to try is an external USB uh, recorder. This is an Arcos device. What this is is a multimedia device that can play back video and stuff like that. The screen's broken, but you can still turn it on and retrieve files through USB, so I thought I'd just give it a try. So when you turn on a device like this, hook it up to a computer, it gets recognized and it runs off its own battery. So I just wanted to try one more device for you guys. I know some other people have some external media players. One thing I think that'd be cool is if you could hook up your MP3 player and transfer songs back and forth if you wanted them off of the Zoom or onto the Zoom onto another device. So let's just go ahead and give this a quick try. Alright, connected. I see some activity on this device. You can't see the screen is broken, but it's showing on the side some activity. And once again, nothing is happening on the Zoom. So, so far, we've tried multiple devices. We've tried the camera, and that worked. Turning that on, immediately recognized and was allowing you to import pictures. Try the external hard drive, pretty much that's what this, this media device is, with its own power supply, and nothing happened. We tried an external hard drive with no power supply, it pretty much gets speeds off of whatever device it's connected to, and nothing happened. Tried a memory card reader, and nothing happened. Tried two different flash drives, and nothing happened. And tried a ebook reader, just for kicks, and nothing happened. So currently, the USB hosting is working. Um, I can also mention that on the old version of Android Honeycomb, the 3.0, I was able to success successfully hook up a USB keyboard, and that worked already then, but that was the only thing that worked before. Now it looks like it's added support to USB cameras. Uh, so that's an added feature, but not quite the versatility that, I, that uh, I'm hoping for or that I was expecting and maybe some of you has been expecting as well so we'll just have to wait and watch and see if uh, future updates give us anything else. Thanks! Hope this was uh, helpful.